Good afternoon. It is 1.36 p.m., 28 degrees, snowed a little bit overnight. I'm uh, actually headed out to buy washer fluid right now. I got in the car yesterday and started driving. Ding! I think, oh great, now what's it need? I look down, it's giving me a warning that it's under 27 degrees, or under 37 degrees. It gives me a warning there could be ice under 37 degrees. Uh, three seconds later, ding. Oh shit, now when I looked out, it says, it says washer fluid load. I'm like, good, finally something cheap to fix on this car. So I don't really know where I'm going to buy washer fluid. I could probably buy it at our grocery store around here, but I think I want Rainex brand because Rainex is nice on a windshield. It's just, let's you know, say you're on the highway and um, it's raining. It really just beads off a lot cleaner and a lot clearer than it would without a better brand. So I'm probably going to go to Walmart or Lowe's or somewhere where they have a better selection of auto care products. I could go to AutoZone and pay twice as much for it, but Walmart have the same stuff. Here's a fun fact. I know we're beating the subject to death, but this is the first washer fluid I've ever put in this car. So I've had it uh, since July 2010, and it's still the washer fluid of whatever the previous owner had in here. Obviously, I don't use it very much, but now that it's winter and you get constant crap blowing all over the car, you kind of need it. And there we go, residual heat on. So when I come out of Walmart, I will have a nice warm car to get in. Oh, it is nice and toasty in here. And there's my washer fluid low and fastened seat belts and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so I bought a value pack. It had four bottles of heat um, antifreeze. No, not antifreeze. Um, what do you call it? Dry gas. When it gets real cold, you can actually have your fuel lines freeze. I'm under the impression the fuel lines in this vehicle are heated. I don't know. I know the door locks are heated with electricity. Um, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to have dry gas somewhere in the trunk or in the glove box or somewhere where if the fuel lines would happen to freeze, I could pour that in there. Five minutes later, it'll drive again. So I bought that. I needed more Loctite super glue and washer fluid. I got the Rain-X 2-in-1. It's good stuff. Anyways, I did the self-checkout. And it says, assistance needed. The lady comes over, she's like, oh, you can't buy super glue, you have to be 18. I said, I am. She looked at me like, yeah, right. So I had to produce a driver's license to show to this woman that I was 18. I have been since December. And she let me get it. But really, driver's license for super glue? Then she walks away. I scan the rain x that goes fine. Then I scan the dry gas, same thing. You have to be 18 to buy dry gas and super glue at Walmart. Okay, welcome back to the beautiful city of Hudson. I'm gonna cut through Western Reserve Academy on the way home. Some of you may have actually heard of it, but uh, we're downtown, it's snowing, and everything is, well, beautiful. There's one series, but uh, it's, it's a pretty nice new three series there. That guy got a 335, he's always had it parked there, it looks great. But uh, it's 28 degrees and that's uh, freaking freezing. But uh, as I've said before, I'm not tired of winter yet because everything really is beautiful downtown here, except for that. Uh, so we'll enjoy it while we can. Some of you may remember this area here. This is where we stopped and filmed that Lamborghini Gallardo right here. Uh, license plate Wombo. That was pretty cool. But uh, we're over here on, I guess, campus, what they would call it. And uh, this used to be, I think, a college and now it's a high school alternative for rich people. It's actually not, there was a study in one of our local papers recently about the best education systems and this was after Hudson Public High School. So that kind of gives you a nice little feeling inside. You go to the free school and it's better than the school that probably costs $200,000 to go through for two, four years. But you get better buildings, I'll give them that. Speed hump. And they're not kidding. With my M bumper on here, I need to be careful going over these. I hit one over the summer and it, it hit. Uh, but that was before I did oops, slide the back around there. Uh, that was before I had the new bumper and all the stuff underneath put on. So I didn't really care. Here's another one. Slowing down, slowing down. And just crawl over these. I'd, if this barely makes it over it, we shouldn't be taking the Ferrari through here anymore. This is Hudson Street here. You may remember I filmed it um, a long time ago when the weather was nice and I went through on a bike and I filmed these houses and everything was beautiful. Um, but this is one of my favorite streets in town. They're not real big houses, but they're just the complete Hudson style. Um, they're all expensive. To live on this street, you're in at least a half million dollars. 
and uh, these are small ones. If you want big houses, you can get in a neighborhood like this for a million plus. But that's not even worth it. If you're gonna spend a million dollars on a house, go somewhere where it's worth living weather-wise, for Christ's sake. There's another nice one. I have a friend who lives there. And that was short-lived. We're already back to Hudson Aurora Road. Ah, uh, the BMW C-Series. That would be a very suckish job for today. <laughs> Alright, so, so I'm coming up the driveway here, and uh, I get to the place where I, I need to turn. So, you know, I, I give it a little bit of gas, and pull back in, just, just slides like skis all the way over, and you can see where the traction finally caught it, and uh, then pulled it, I would say straight, but it's not even close to being straight car is, but look at those wampus tire tracks going into the garage. God, rear wheel drive vehicles, whose idea was that? Whatever it was, I love them for it. Okay, so my stuff went everywhere, but here's my dry gas with uh, fuel injector cleaner in it from heat. And here's my washer fluid from rain -X, so I'm gonna put that in now. And there's my super glue that apparently I can do something illegal with and you have to be 18 to buy. What the hell? Holy crap, I just emptied this whole bottle of 3.78 liters, it's a gallon bottle, into what I really hope is the washer reservoir. There's another one here that says intensity cleaner, but if we look at the cap that is on that one, look at it. Can't we all assume that that's washer fluid? Now it says 6 liters, so really? 6 liters? That is freaking huge! I've never seen a car that holds 6 liters of washer fluid. That would explain why I haven't had to replace it. This is, I don't even think this holds a gallon of the stuff. I can remember topping this off, it'd be low and I'd only, I'd fill it up from nothing and you know, I'd only put this much in it. So, I guess next time I'm out, I'm gonna have to go get more of this to fill it up. So it's like half full. That is ridiculous though. 6 liters of washer fluid? Holy crap. Oh, yeah, there we go. Can't be a bad idea to keep two bottles of washer fluid down there. Don't even see it under the trim back here. So, get that out of the way. Um, Bobby, with your E39 528, do you have, I think your battery's over here, I think, with the fuses. I just have an empty spot, but my battery's right there. Um, but with yours, do you have this area, and then under there's like the, um, the tire pressure the, t the tire bomb and safety glasses and stuff like that, but I'm sure you have the toolkit. But I don't know if the 530s or you have 528 or 525 uh, has the tire bomb and stuff. If not, you could probably get it. There we go. The Honda has one too. So now she's over out. I'm sure that, see, that's what I'm talking about with the hood, with the trunklet. Sometimes it doesn't latch, but sometimes it doesn't, period, and you have to manually fix it. Well, I'm a little late to be listening to Christmas music, watching the snow come down, but I am. And I just reviewed this case for, whoops, for the iPhone, and uh, I've got a low quality version uploading right now in 360p. Once uh, New Trent gets back to me, says that video is okay, go ahead, upload it, then I'll throw the full 720p video up. Uh, hopefully today, I hope that gets done today or tomorrow at the latest. But I am getting ready to go meet Taylor and Alex for dinner. Cannon backed out. A candle. Um, so I'm going to go do that. I think I'm also going to get more washer fluid so I can top that off. It's 5.30, we're meeting at 6, so if I leave in like two minutes, I'll be able to do that. So, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, I love when it snows and it's not windy, so the snow stays on all the trees like that. It is absolutely beautiful. But, we'll probably have wind and then it'll look dead again. Alright, time to get the washer. Crap. Well, they don't have the rain -X one, which is what I like, because it's um, two in one, it does other stuff too. So I'll just go back over to the other Walmart. Uh, I'll be over there tomorrow or Saturday and I'll get it then, but God, they've completely redone this place. They have everything in here. Um, it's now a super Walmart, whereas before it was just a regular Walmart, so. Hell, now we can practically buy cars here. Oh, they have just done a bang up job with the parking lots over here, all over the road. Yeah, rear wheel drives, I mentioned before, it's fun, but it can't be doing well either. Oh, there you are, buddy. Come on, you better be doing your job. Do your curtsy, do your curtsy. Okay, so we're over here at dinner. I want to back into that spot. It's all fresh snow and it's slightly uphill. I'm gonna see if I can make it. Can't do this while filming, but I'll let you know. Never doubt the power of BMW M. Friggin' right we did, we got in here perfectly. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna hang out here for a couple minutes, wait for Alex and Taylor who hopefully make it in this weather. 
The main roads in Hudson were good. Once I got out of Hudson and over here to Streetsboro, nothing's been really treated. So you're just driving entire tracks. And as you can see, this parking lot has not been done at all. So needless to say, we're gonna eat over here at Steak and Shake. It's quick, it's cheap, it's easy, and it's pretty good. We were gonna go to Parasons, then Kevin crapped out, and I want him to eat there. He's never been there. He says he doesn't like it. He's being judgmental. Uh, so we'll get him to go with us next time, and we'll go to a classy place instead of the greasy American burger joint. So Bobby, does your 525, uh, I think you said it was an 03, did they replace the residual heat button with the Max AC? Uh, I know in most of the cars I've looked at that weren't 2001s, they had had that done. And for where I live, I would rather have the residual heat. You are at the car, the engine's not on right now, yet I can still dial up all the heat controls and have the heating on. If I were to lock the car, turn everything off, and leave, it would keep going for like 15 minutes, so I'd come out to a warm car. Yeah, sorry, I had a phone call there, but um, if you have the Max AC, I think all that does is turn on the air conditioning, put the temperature down to 60, and crank the fans up, which might be nice if you live somewhere where it's always hot, and you just want one button to get all the AC going. But to be honest with you, I've never used the air conditioning in this car more than three or four times. I'd much rather have windows down, sunroof open, the more convertible experience, um, and be a little warm than have the AC on. So that's how much fresh snow I had to plow through here, like two inches. I made it. It's a pretty decent park job. Alex is here. Hey, how you doing? I uh, had a little bit of trouble getting into the spot. You can see my wampus tracks, but uh, I backed up there all by myself. Mm. Oh yeah. Right. Don't you just want to reach here. over and squeeze this as hard as you can? Here. A. Like, I've always wanted to. Do. See. Let me take a photo. Why? Because it makes me look like a bad driver when I'm really not. Why did I tell him that I hit a girl? Right, uh, you are one of the funniest people we know. So wait. Hey, you know, you're claiming that she's fat. No. Her ass hit my hood. And she's not pretty too, so I wasn't happy to see her. <laughs> Alright, we're back home now, and she goes right off into my yard again, every single time. He goes all the way back. Taylor, when you watch this later, don't go back that far. Alex made it too, and uh, the, the roads are just awful. They've been plowed now a little bit, but it's all the salt and just the gush. It's nasty. All right, we're Dicks! over here. All right, we're over here at Dick's. We're gonna come in and get some actual good ping pong balls because the ones we have are just shit. So we'll let you know what we find. You see that guy? See that? He's falling. Go. Oh shit! Oh, this sucks. Good way to get dick off the rain. Wait, make sure that lane's clear, Taylor. You get hit at 60 miles an right, hour. That will be just freaking cocked. Go, go, go. Here you can go. That is a bad uh -oh. day if uh -oh. I've seen uh -oh. one. Freaking right. Looking at some cars. Used to play this song. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I have a question. If you guys could leave a response in Ryan's comment section on what BMW I should get, that'd be great. My price range is uh, obviously zero to 11,000, um, and really any car, which you think would be good for that price, uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Any Here's what we're looking at once we get some photos loaded here. It's just taking forever downloading stuff at 14 kilobytes per second. That's what you get with Time Warner. My peak bandwidth is 1.1 megs and it does 11K. No reason why. This is a 2003 325i. Looks like we've got one photo. Taylor, you can talk about the internet at your place. How is it? Has it changed over the past few days? Yeah, it's been slower. For better or worse? Worse. Worse. And do you like Time Warner? No. Why don't you like him? Because it's dicked, right? <laughs> talk about it. Come on, it's dicked. It's dicked. It's dicked. All right. So this is the car. 03 325. No pictures of the interior. Oh, there's one. There's oh, they're one. still loading. Right, but we need to see if it's a manual or not. Yeah, and it's... it is. It's a five-speed with the silver trim. All right, guys, 12, uh, 39 here in the morning. Everybody went home a few hours ago. When they left, I went outside and blew the driveway off with the snowblower. There was like three inches in some places. Um, and then obviously where it had been driven on, there wasn't much. But... Uh, you can see the sidewalk is done. I made a mess on the porch. I'm going to have to clean up, but that is all done. And I have edited uh, for the vlog today everything I have recorded up until now. 
and it's actually pretty long so maybe good maybe bad I think it's gonna be like 15 16 minutes so it's gonna take forever to upload I'll start it in about two hours when I officially go to bed and I'm done watching YouTube videos good news is I got the watch later playlist down to five videos we got Shaytard, Shaytard, Shaytards, CTFXC, and Ask Kassim. So I'm going to do that tonight. We'll see if anything else has come in over the last 20 minutes. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, Colt, I already saw yours, so no, that's good. Not anything I'm going to watch anyway. So long video today. It's 12.40. I'm done. Tomorrow morning, BMW's going in for the thermostat. It's like a five-hour install or something like that. I'm going to drop it off at 9, get it by mid to late afternoon, and we'll see how that goes. And I'll talk to you tomorrow in the groggy state at probably about 8.30. I'm not going to be in a great mood, but I'll talk to you then. Good night.